Rachel, 44, is one of the guests on Channel 4's Sunday Brunch this morning. The weekly light entertainment show is presented by regular hosts Tim Lovejoy and Simon Rimmer. The duo will get stuck into some delicious dishes as they chat with the Hollington Drive star Rachel. The London-born actress, who is married to elbow frontman Guy Garvey, appears in Scandal Town at the Lyric Hammersmith Theatre next month. Joining her on Sunday brunch are fellow celebrity guests, Louise Redknapp, Claudia Jesse, and Ricky Wilson. Meanwhile, music comes from Canadian rapper Baby No Money, Baba No Money, who performs live in the studio. As an actress, Rachel has followed in the footsteps of her late mother Dame Diana Rigg, who died from cancer in September 2020, aged 82. The Bond girl, who also starred in Avengers and Game of Thrones left her daughter £3 million in her will, according to the Daily Mail. The paper reported in November that Rachel, as her only child, inherited a sizable chunk of her mother's estate, which in total was valued at £3,368,886. BBC Charlie State stops Ukraine interview midway as he takes high ground OK fine her portion of her mother's fortune was said to include properties in France and the US. In her will, Dame Diana was also said to have left a £5,000 gift to a beautician called Jessica from her local nail salon. She also gave some £280,500 to family and charities, including £50,000 for both Great Ormond Street Hospital and St. Christopher's Hospice. Following the huge outpouring of grief for Dame Diana in the wake of her death, Rachel penned her own heartfelt tribute to her mother in a detailed article in October last year. In a piece for The Observer, the actress, who became her mother's carer, discussed her incredible life and their traumatic time living together after her cancer diagnosis. In her essay, edited by screenwriter and director Edgar Wright, she wrote, We didn't always get on. There was enormous love, but it was a painful relationship for both of us at times. When we asked her to come and live with us, I had no idea how hard it would be or how traumatic. Yet it was the greatest privilege to help her to die as comfortably as I could and she returned that kindness with a stoicism that shielded me from her darkest moments. We showed each other a love without end, in the end. I really suffered the Gilded Age star Louisa Jacobson on regret over Mary and Brooke role, latest Meghan Markle snub of BAFTAs after charity trip, my gut said no, inside R. EM singer Michael Stipe's furious demand in rat at clown Trump, go F yourself, analysis, Rachel described how she cared for her mother, doing her cooking, shopping handling her medication and taking her to and from radiotherapy and chemotherapy. She recalled how her mother was hospitalized with a fractured lumbar, when she was told by a surgeon that the cancer had spread through her body. After her hospital stay, Dame Diana was initially reluctant to move in with her daughter. Rachel wrote, she had to be persuaded. Not about the dying bit, she was resigned to that, oh but I've had such a life, Rachie. She didn't like the loss of independence, hated the thought of being a burden and flatly refused to use the doorbell that Guy had taped to her bedside table in case she needed help. She also refused morphine as it dulled her brain. Sunday Brunch airs on Channel 4 this morning from 9.30am to 12.30pm.